Welcome back to the session of Condor System. Uh, in this video, I, I'll be talking about which is the most important question which can expect for your university examination. So let us consider it as a passing package for the subject control system. So you know that uh, in the first module, it's a, a pure introduction to control system. So there are theory questions such as explain the types of control system, differentiate open loop and closed loop control system, prepare a table whenever you are presenting, explain the effect of negative feedback control system on the performance. So what is a transfer function? What is the importance of transfer function? Then obtain the transfer function of mechanical mechanical system. It is applicable for translational system as well as rotational system. Then state and explain the rules of drawing the block diagram, which you can expect in the next module. Draw the neat diagram of temperature control system. Okay, that is a like a, how uh, it will act as a controller. Uh, the what is analog system and uh, write the analogy between uh, mechanical and electrical system. Whenever you are explaining the analogy, you are supposed to talk about if it is a translation system, uh, you have to explain about the force voltage analogy and uh, force current system. Uh, if you are talking about the rotational system, you need to talk about torque voltage analogy and torque current and uh, torque current analog system. So there are conversion, you can refer the table. I'll share you the entire notes, you can go through it. Okay, so these are the important questions which you can ex express from the first module. So the tip I want to tell you that if they ask the numerical example, you write the equations, then form uh, like important conversion. For example, uh, you, you have got a question like, uh, uh, write, uh, like uh, write the force voltage analogy for the given mechanical system. So what you're supposed to do is, you need to write the conversion, that's very important, F, uh, Fe. So mass is mapped to L, like uh, spring is mapped to, uh, then damper or dashboard is mapped to, uh, then uh, displacement, X is mapped to. Like that you prepare the like a uh, conversion table and directly place it over there, okay? So uh, you plan well before answering it, okay? So let me explain how to approach the questions. How do we approach the questions? I'll share you the screen. So we have a question paper, which has happened in the last year, 2024. So they can see the theory question directly, not a problem. But if you see the like a numerical example, what you can do is write the conversion. Force voltage method they are asking. Look at the question number B, 1B. Uh, you mention uh, the force voltage analogous equation. Then do mention about the equation. For example, there are two, two bodies, M1 and M2. For corresponding equation, you can write it. Corresponding, for example, uh, Fm1, the force is acting on the body. Fm1 is equal to M1 into D1 X1 square by DT square. Here X1 is not mentioned, do remember that. Similarly, if I talk about like a second mass, uh, Fm2 is equal to M2 into D X2 square by DT square. Similarly, Fk, what is Fk? Uh, like a K into X1, K into X1. What is FB1? That means B1 into DX1 by D, uh, like a DT, DX1 by DT. So like that, you prepare the equations. Definitely, if you write the theory concept, there are chances for getting the pass mark. Okay. So this is the approach which I want to tell you for the uh, module one. Throughout the like uh, concept, here they asked about the force current method. So write the conversion. The table you can prepare now. So that is already available in the uh, video description. All the notes are available. Kindly refer the notes. Uh, similarly, if it is a rotational system, so you can formulate here three bodies are there J1, J2, J3. Here uh, you have to mention the angle theta1, theta2, theta3. So three free body diagram you are supposed to mention, three equations you are sup supposed to make out. Later what you are going to do is angular displacement will be converted in the form of angular velocity. Correct? Uh, so afterwards, uh, you try to uh, like uh, use the conversion here. Uh, we need to convert for torque current method no so prepare in the first column torque second column current so conversion so for example moment of inertia is converted to dash a uh, spring is converted to dash uh, damper is converted to dash like that you can prepare b1 b2 b3 are called a damper okay yes so this is the way how to like approach the module one so now i'll be talking about the module two what are the important questions and how to uh, proceed so in the module one we have two two Module 2, we have two components. One is a block diagram. Second one is signal flow gram. So in the block diagram, so you have to study the 12 rules to reduce the block diagram. Define the signal flow graph. What are the rules for and the properties of a signal flow graph? State and explain the Mason gain formula. It is a sure, sure question. Obtain the transfer function using the signal flow graph. A, a problem will be given. You are supposed to the solve using the Mason gain formula. Compare the block diagram and the signal flow graph. You can prepare a table you have to prepare, which has to be mentioned the uh, comparison between uh, signal flow graph with respect to complexity, with respect to the procedure, with respect to the system, correct? And with respect to the data availability. Define forward path gain, loop gain, node, non-touching loop, individual loop. So those terminology are supposed to explain with the help of a signal flow graph. 
construct the signal flow graph for the given set of equation and uh, compute the transfer function. So these are the important questions from the uh, module two. The approach is very simple. Let me take you the question paper so that uh, you'll be getting a better confidence. Yeah. So in the question paper, question will be like this. Find the mass, uh, like a uh, transfer function for the Mason gain formula. First, you are supposed to uh, write the Mason gain formula. Later, explain the terminology like one by delta sigma k pk delta k. What is delta? What is pk? What is k? All the things you are supposed to mention. In the case of block diagram, you try to reduce it. Okay. Each and every step you are supposed to mention. Try to follow the uh, like uh, 12 rules here. We can see G2 and G4 that is cascading. Similarly, G3 and G2 that is parallel block. So here afterwards, you can see this is a negative feedback control system. G divided by 1 plus GH. That concept you have to apply. In the signal flow graph, you uh, uh, follow with the Mason gain formula. Easily you can uh, solve it out. It is not a big deal. So when it comes to module 3, it's a like uh, there are so many analytical type uh, derivations. There are so many derivations are included in the module 3. So First in the foremost, you need to study about different type of standard test signals like a unit step signal, unit ram signal, unit parabolic signal, then unit then sinusoidal signal, then uh, uh, like impulse signal, like that you have to prepare. Derive the time response of first order control system, then derive the time response of second order control system. There is a derivation. I'll be putting up uh, in the video description, kindly refer. And define the damping ratio. What is damping ratio? It is a ratio of actual damping to the uh, actual, uh, like a, uh, like uh, uh, actual so what is the meaning of damping ratio okay actual damping to the critical damping okay that ratio define the following what is rise time okay what is peak time uh, so what is uh, peak overshoot mp what is settling time those equations for example peak time pi by omega d that means pi by omega n into square root of 1 minus theta square then uh, derived expression for uh, at least peak time uh, then rise time you can study remaining you remember the formula uh, what is stage, steady state error okay uh, limit resistance to zero s into e of s then uh, what are the different type of constant kp kv k how to calculate kp limit resistance to zero g of s h of s uh, what is k limit resistance to zero s square g of s h of s so state and explain the effect of proportional integral and derivative controller in addition to that you have to study about pd controller pi controller pid controller only theoretical concept is more than sufficient. No need to go for the design, derivation, etc. So you need to study the basic equation of transfer function. Correct. So everything is available in the module 3. You just check out uh, the folder. Check out the drive which I am going to share with you. 100% uh, this question will help you to clear the subject. So what is the approach? How to solve this? Yeah. So in the question paper you can see module 3. Look at the module 3. So prepare uh, like theory questions like a test standard test signal. Uh, like uh, then calculation of kp kv k which i just explained uh, then you need to uh, like uh, compute the static error constant like the kp steady state error so problem on steady state error is very important don't ignore similarly like uh, uh, problems on time domain specification like uh, g of s is given you have to calculate g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s h of s you have to put 1 because it's a unity feedback control system then now you can apply the c of t formula for c of t uh, then you are here you have to put t is equal to 0.1 Formula for TP or to use. Uh, formula for settling time, TS. That means CS is equal to 4 by theta omega. So these are the concept. Okay. So this is another problem related to steady state error. So please focus on the steady state error. So these are the important thing in the module 3. Coming to the module 4, that is one uh, like root locus and uh, uh, route the Hurwitz criteria. Here you have to study about what is stability. What is the BIBO criteria? What is uh, Routh Hurwitz criteria? That means necessary and sufficient condition. Look at the first column. In the first column of Routh array, if all elements are positive, that means system is stable. If any one of the element is negative, that means it may be like uh, more than one sign changes. The number of sign changes will be directly depending on number of poles which are locating in the right half of S plane. That concept you have to explain elaborately. Then Routh criteria, like uh, uh, they may ask like a necessary and a sufficient condition. Draw and explain the concept of root locus. What are the rules associated with the root locus? There are 10 rules available. Kindly follow up all the steps, calculation of uh, like a uh, number of low key, uh, asymptote, number of asymptote, angle of asymptote, centroid, breakaway point, all the procedure, please explain very clearly. What is breakaway point? How to calculate the breakaway point? First of all, uh, write the equation like a 1 plus g of s h of s equal to 0, uh, separate the value of k, then dk by ds equal to 0. Therefore, you'll be getting uh, the breakaway point by solving the equation. Uh, significance of root locus in control system. And then draw the procedure for doing the root locus. 
okay so that is actually the important concept regarding the module 4 in the module 4 like uh, you may get the uh, like a uh, uh, route hervis criteria okay a problem in the form of problem or theory root locus you will be getting a question uh, the loop transfer function will be given you will be computing the uh, like uh, um, uh, stability whether how many poles are locating the right half of s plane they may ask so coming to the module 5 so module 5 comprises of three segments one is body plot here you need to study about the uh, a correlation between a time domain and a frequency domain that is one of the most important question so uh, frequency domain specification what do you mean by frequency domain specification band bandwidth resonant frequency resonant frequency what are called frequency domain specification then you need to talk about like uh, uh, how do you proceed uh, proceed with the body plot how to plot the gain margin uh, how to mark uh, mention the phase margin if gain margin is positive system is stable gain margin is negative system is unstable those con uh, like a concept procedure is very simple first of all writing the standard form putting s equal to j omega calculation of the magnitude calculation of the phase then you are supposed to use the uh, like a slope calculation later you are supposed to mention uh, like uh, plotting the magnitude plot and phase plot and you have to mark finally you are supposed to calculate the gain margin and phase margin based on the like a sign of the gain margin and phase margin we can determine whether the system is stable or not that's also most important thing. If the numerical question is also, uh, is suppose numerical question uh, is appeared, you try to mention the theory as well. Try to write the theory. That is a major tip I want to convince you. Explain the concept of gain crossover and phase crossover frequency. GPC, GK, okay, GPC, omega PC. Then uh, what is uh, like, uh, uh, what is the difference between uh, Bode plot and Nyquist plot? These are the theory questions. So in the case of Nyquist plot, you need to study the stability uh, determination using Nyquist plot. Uh, then define the encirclement. Okay, then compare body plot and equus plot. So even problem also, that procedure you need to study. Regarding the state space analysis, you have to study the terminology like what is state, what is state variable, what is state model. Then obtain the state model from the given transfer function. Okay, uh, then it, it may be like in the uh, circuit, electrical circuit may be given. Uh, so you need to give the modeling. Then find the transfer function from the given state space representation. Define the state transition matrix and the property. So question will be in this fashion. I'll be taking you the question paper. So... So one like a transfer function will be given. You are supposed to do the Nyquist plot. Then broad plot also the same fashion. Uh, then some theory question you may get like a lag compensator. What is lag and lead compensator? It is not in the syllabus, but it is already included in the uh, manual, lab manual. Okay. So similarly, finding out the state transition matrix. So I already prepared a video on the preparation of state transition matrix. That video link also I'll be putting in the uh, comment, uh, like a uh, uh, description box. So this is the way how to prepare uh, the strategy, how to prepare the strategy. So if you go through these strategies, wherever the numerical uh, comes, you can give some uh, equations, some theory. Definitely, you can. there is a chance for getting the clear in the subject. It's not a big deal. So we can go through this uh, strategy to clear the subject. Moreover, if you uh, like uh, half an hour only can plan as soon as uh, you get into the exam hall, you prepare those equations, prepare in the rough sheets. You can, uh, there is a space for rough work. In that only you strategically, you can write the equations, concept, rules, everything. You can strategically write and you can easily apply whenever the question comes. First 10 minutes, you can go for like a cool off time so that you can plan your answer best. Once you completed that, try to answer it all the optional questions also. So that there are chances of one answer is wrong. There are chances of getting the pass mark from the other questions. Let me know if you have any queries. Happy learning. Wish you all the very best for your examination. Prepare well. All the best.